Land-based learning is a recognition that the legal archive that Indigenous peoples have is the earth. And so when you see some of the species that are around us in the way that they're described in the language, in the uh, stories that are told about them, and when we understand the relationship of uh, how living matter interacts with uh, that elemental matter, we can start to understand our dependence and interdependence on the natural world around us. There are morals, there are values there, there are principles of law and processes that we can analogize from those stories and apply in our contemporary lives. Uh, the opportunity to learn Indigenous law in a place like the territory now known as Canada is extremely important for uh, people living within these territories to help understand in a meaningful way that there are many other legal orders and legal traditions that have existed in these places for millennia. And the common law or the civil law or other settler um, or otherwise uh, systems of justice are just one in a beautiful fabric of the mosaic of these areas uh, and it gives people the opportunity to learn about different types of legal orders and traditions that hold just as much credence um, and should be just as respected and just as honored as other types of legal systems now also working within these places. Uh, we're out on the land um, learning from elders and the elders are teaching us how to um, read the law that is in the land by learning through analogy and uh, uh, listening to, to stories that are tied directly to the land. Here today we're at uh, Tijuan, uh, the Cerro Reserve, uh, doing a pick cook and learning about, not just learning about a pick cook, but gathering all the rocks and the greenery and making the fire and... And uh, the sustenance is evident in this uh, practice because you're gathering rocks and you're putting that to fire. And there are many teachings about where Wasanich people come from that has to do with rocks and fire. And then water is added to the rocks and fire to create steam. And again, we're surrounded here by waters and often raining on the West Coast. And these are the substances that um, transform materials so that humans can partake of them and eat of them. Now that's a physical practice that's made by putting things in the ground and pulling them out of the earth and the sea. And what we're suggesting to the students is that law is the same way. Uh, law comes from the intermingling of teachings that flow from fire and water and rocks and the interaction of those materials with the organic life that surrounds us. The goal of this course is to provide students with a very different way of thinking about law. It's very different. We're starting from very different um, foundational principles, really, and ways of understanding and ways of being. So having the students be able to connect with that and to truly understand the importance of Saanich law and uh, Indigenous perspectives, I think even if they go on to do uh, more Canadian law stream of work that they'll be able to bring new perspectives and new light to their thinking and hopefully be able to use that in um, creating some more good for not only the Spanish community but indigenous communities in Canada and around the world.